Hello students, in this video, we are going to cover question number two of the EOT. And as you know, you can find where you can find all the solutions. Yes, you can find all the solutions on my channel, Bounce Back Classes. So guys, there is a link and just go there and there is a folder and in which you can find all the videos day by day. Okay, and the first video is already released. Now time for question number two. Okay, guys, in this video, we are going to cover question number two and what exactly it is. So just check this one. Identify the electron volt. Okay. Actually, this is the concept from grade 12. But this is a very small part which you need to focus here. Huh? Electron volt is the kinetic energy that an electron gains when accelerated by electric potential of 1 volt. Okay, I will explain this. Huh? Uh, let's say we are discussing about the work done or we are discussing about the energy. As we know, both are same and which is equals to kinetic energy, which is equals to potential energy. All are same. Fine. <clears throat> what we need to understand, let's say we are discussing the kinetic energy in terms of electron and volt. Let's say there is an electron or you just consider there is a body. Okay. And you want this body to move. So it means you need to apply some work done. So there are two factors. The first factor, this is called charge, which is Q. And how charge can move with the help of voltage. With the help of voltage. So we have a new formula, work done, which is equals to QV. <coughs> which is equals to Q times V. Okay, and... For grade 12, actually this is the formula from grade 12, Q, the total charge is equals to N multiply E. N is the number of electrons. So in this question, how many electrons we are studying? We are studying about N equals to 1, only one electron. So can I say Q is equals to E, which is your electron. Okay, and the other interesting thing, there is a charge on electron which is fixed. 1.6 times 10 raised to power negative 19 coulomb. So just place all the values here. So can I say work done is equals to E times V. Fine. E times V. So we can say work done is equals to 1 E V. Work done is equals to 1 E V. And we can convert this also. We can solve this is also 1 multiply. What is E? 10 raised to power 1.6. Okay, let me just remove this. Okay, and have some space also here. So work done is equals to 1 multiply 1.6 times 10 raised to power negative 19. Clear guys? So if you solve it, that will be converted into joule. Fine. Okay. Now, the major thing, what you need to focus here, huh? then we will cover this question also. So, we understand work done is equals to kinetic energy, which is half mv square and the unit is joule. Yes or no? Okay. The another work done we understand, which is equals to q times v, which is equals to ev. And once we solve it, it will become 1.6 times 10 raised to power negative 19 joule. So can I say 1 ev is equals to <coughs> 1 ev is equals to 1 multiply or 1 point you can say that is better 1 point 6 10 raised to power negative 19 joule. Yes or no? Sure. Okay. Now let's say if I need to find 1 joule, can I say 1 joule is equals to 1 divided by 1.6 times 10 raised to power negative 19? Yes or no? Is it clear? Fine. Okay. <coughs> now just move to the question. So this is the question given here. Okay, now read it. So the question is a charge gain 
4 multiply okay there is a small change that is the power 5 huh? 10 raised to power 5 okay a charge gain this much joule of energy so guys what is given work done or you can say energy is given fine and you need need to focus the unit is in terms of joule which is equals to 4 multiply 10 raised to power 5 joule fine of electric potential energy of electric potential energy okay when it was moved between two oppositively charged plates fine how much work how much work in units of ev in units of ev means directly we need to convert need to convert joule into ev yes or no understand okay i told you see work done is 4 multiply 10 raised to power 5 joule okay so can we say this joule joule is equals to 1 joule and we know the value of 1 joule okay so you just place it here work done is equals to 4 multiply 10 raised to power 5 bracket so value of 1 joule is 1 divided by this is ev huh 1.6 times 10 raised to power negative 19 ev so work done is equals to you just convert this so you will get 2.50 times 10 raised to power 24 electron volt sure do you understand okay guys so this is the basic thing so in the exam also they can ask you they can ask you two things either electron volt to joule or joule to electron volt so just remember simple thing one joule is equals to one over 10 uh, 1.6 times 10 this word negative 19 electron volt okay or you can remember this one so it will become easy for you to solve the numerical fine guys so with this our question number two coverage is finished and let's meet in the next video with question number three take care bye